वेलकम फ्रेंड्स यू आर वॉचिंग केमेस्ट्री विजन विथ विद्या बुरंगी एंड टूडेज अवर एम इज इनऑर्गेनिक प्रिपरेशन मीन्स टूडे वी वॉन्ट टू प्रिपेयर प्योर सैम्पल ऑफ फेरस अमोनियम सल्फेट विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज मोहर सॉल्ट वी नो दैट दिस सॉल्ट इज डबल सॉल्ट बिकॉज इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू सॉल्ट टूगेदर hydrated ferrous sulfate and ammonium sulfate when ferrous ammonium sulfate is dissolved in water ions get separated that is fe di positive ion nh4 positive ion so4 double negative ions and these ions show their own properties so to prepare this double salt to prepare this mohr salt we use process of crystallization crystallization is a technique which is used to prepare pure sample to prepare this see the chemical equation ferrous sulfate which is hydrated combined with ammonium sulfate and we obtain ferrous ammonium sulfate with six water molecules of crystallization here one mole of hydrated ferrous sulfate combined with one mole of ammonium sulfate and hence during this preparation we will take equimolar solutions of ferrous sulfate and ammonium sulfate equimolar solution means same concentration here we will take 3.5 gram of hydrated ferrous sulfate and 1.5 gram of ammonium sulfate they combine to give us ferrous ammonium sulfate to prepare pure sample of ferrous ammonium sulfate we need distilled water dilute sulfuric acid tripod with wire gauze funnel beakers china dish 3.5 g of ferrous sulfate 1.5 g of ammonium sulfate filter paper spatula and glass rod now transfer 3.5 g of ferrous sulfate to the beaker carefully to same beaker add 1.5 g of ammonium sulfate crystals with the help of spatula and then add 2 to 3 ml of dilute sulfuric acid to same beaker this dilute sulfuric acid prevents the hydrolysis of ferrous sulfate see i have taken 20 ml of distilled water and this distilled water i will transfer to beaker and now boil this 20 ml of water heat it till it boils now transfer hot water slowly with constant stirring inside the beaker containing two salts that is ferrous sulfate and ammonium sulfate with constant stirring add little amount of water and stir till your salt get completely dissolved we add 20 ml water to the beaker containing two salts i see here salt get dissolved inside the water now filter it to filter the solution i take funnel take filter paper right make two folds of this first 
second three fold on one side and one fold on another side make a cone and fit the cone inside the funnel okay now keep a china dish below your funnel and filter the solution when it is hot See here, after filtration, the insoluble impurities remain on the filter paper, while we obtain greenish colored filtrate in china dish. Now, heat it on tripod to concentrate the solution with constant stirring. right we heat it till the point of crystallization reaches means we heat it to evaporate the solvent solution gets saturated and then crystal starts to separate when we cool it continue heating and stirring process to concentrate the solution to concentrate means we evaporate the solvent so that point of crystallization reaches see on glass rod we can able to see fine whitish crystals pale greenish means the point of crystallization reached now we concentrate it and we keep it for natural cooling natural cooling is essential because when you cool it naturally you will get maximum yield maximum amount of fas crystals after cooling we get pale greenish color crystals now filter them using filter paper again make a cone and fit filter paper inside your funnel filter the crystals so that crystals remain on filter paper and mother liquor get collected in beaker are your pale greenish crystals of ferrous ammonium sulfate wash crystals with little amount of alcohol or water now i have taken two to three filter papers and on these filter papers i will tap the crystals like this to dry them to dry these crystals press two to three filter papers on them and keep crystals for drying later on weigh the crystals whatever we obtain so after drying the crystals of fas when we weigh the crystals our weight is 4.7 g and observe the color of crystals fas crystals are pale green or light green in color so keep in mind few highlighted points for this experiment that the mineral acid used during preparation of mohr salt is dilute h2so4 the molar 
mass of mohs salt is 392 g per mole shape of your fas crystals is monoclinic the process which we use in preparation of mohs salt is crystallization and the cooling process is carried out slowly and naturally to obtain good amount that is good yield of crystals ma'am why the concentrated solution should not be heated for a long time concentrated solution of fas should not be heated for long time because it may oxidize fe di positive ions to fe tri positive ions what is crystallization point see crystallization point is the temperature of brine brine means saturated solution at which solid starts to separate from the solution means solid crystals begins to form in the solution ma'am why dilute h2so4 is added during preparation of mohs salt during preparation of mohs salt dilute h2so4 is added because it prevents the hydrolysis of ferrous salt in which type of volumetric titration mohs salt is used dear students we know that volumetric titration means measuring volume of one substance that combines with another substance and your mohs salt is used in redox titration which is volumetric titration